To get started with your inspirational project, go to spark.adobe.com and click Log In. I recommend that you log in with your Adobe ID and you'll go to your projects page. Click the plus sign at the top of the page. I could pick a template to start with, but instead I'm going to start from scratch and select graphic. I could use my branding that comes with Spark Premium, which I use for my online courses, but for this I'll start from scratch. Spark has a number of standard graphic sizes you can use. I'm going to pick a standard widescreen, click Next, and now I can add an image to my project. I can upload an image from my computer, or I can search for a free image, which is what I'm going to do. I'll search through my images until I find one that I like. Actually, I kind of like this one. So I select it, click Next, and Spark starts its magic. Now what Spark has done is to automatically size and crop the image to fit into my 16 by 9 frame size. Now I can add my text. Now this isn't as impactful as I would like it to be, so I'm going to move my text over and make it bigger. So that's close, and I could go in and tweak this by changing all these different options over here, but I'm just going to kind of take a shortcut and use the style tool, which lets Spark try different design options. I'll just drag the green dot around in the circle until I find something that I kind of like. That's a possibility. I can always go back to that later on. But this is pretty close to what I'm looking for. So now I'm going to center this. Notice as I get it in the center, the guidelines show up and move it over to the left. But I'm not thrilled with these colors, so I'm going to click the color button and pick some new colors. Again, there are my branding colors that I could choose from, or I could select one of the suggested color combinations. What Spark has done here is looked at the image and tried to pick up some of the main colors from the image. But instead, I'm going to go down and look at the all colors choices. This one's a possibility. Well, that might work, but I'm going to undo that for now. Let's see if I can find something else. I'm kind of feeling these greens down here, so I'm going to play around with those. Let's see, let's try reversing those colors. Maybe this one would work. No, I'm kind of liking this one. So I've chosen my colors. It's still missing something. So I'm going to click the Add button and select an icon. And let me look for an apple. Let's try this one. There's my apple. Well, that's not going to work. That color is completely off. We don't want a brown apple. So I can change the color. Let's make it a red apple. And let's bring it up here, but make it smaller, and maybe rotate it a bit. And I like that a lot, but I might want another one, so let's duplicate that. And we'll bring it down here, rotate it the other way. A little adjustment. And there we go. I kind of like that. So now I can name my post. Notice Spark automatically saves. And I can publish it directly to Facebook or Twitter, or I can create a link to use someplace else. But I want to download this image to use it in another project, so I'll click Download. I could change the image type. I'll stick with PNG. I'll click Start Download. And I'm ready to use my image and you're ready to get started creating your own project with Adobe Spark. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.